Hi there, ho guys and gals. Welcome back. And today I got a hot take for you. I know it's going to upset some people, but it's time to talk about it because you need to stop buying this style of torque wrench. And bear with me for a moment, pun intended, if you will, because we're going to talk about maybe what you should be buying instead. Now, this may not apply this course, and they never do. Advice like this never applies to everyone. There's always somebody who's going to be, well, I'm the super special exception. I know because my mother told me so, and I get it. And for like pros, especially like for guys who are like working in tire shops and stuff like that, this is not going to be for you, okay? Because you're going to have specific tools. You, you need to, they're going to probably have specific ones for each job. You want to do them fast and accurately. And this is going to be for uh, the DIY weekend warrior, shade tree mechanic, the prosumer kind of person, people who like more technical accuracy, stuff like that, but don't want to spend top dollar. Back in the day, if you wanted a good, highly, you know, high quality, accurate torque wrench, you were looking at something like the snap on here. You're looking at, what is that? $635. Great torque wrench. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, time, technology, things catch up on you, and so does the competition. Now you can get something like this for 150 bucks. That said, look at this. Tecton, which is one of the great, as we call them, tool truck alternatives, they get a three-pack here. You're going to get your quarter-inch, your three-eighths, and your half-inch torque wrench. Not, are these the best torque wrenches in the world? I'm not going to say they are. A lot of stuff that Tecton makes is fantastic. I would say this is in the good enough prosumer range, and you're looking at $165 for all three. Now, you can even do better. Go on Amazon Lexavon. That's one of the brands we talk about a lot on here. As far as a bargain brand, you're going to get all three of them for, I think, $120 or so. Dollars. But, you know, Harbor Freight's like, hold my beer. You can get three of the cheap Pittsburgh ones for, I think, it's like $54, $55. Now, back in the day when they had the coupons and everything else, they used to come out down to, I think it was like $10, $12 each. It was ridiculous. A lot of people were like, well, they're not that accurate and stuff like that. But to be honest, we're not building space shuttles here. You're working on your Chevy in the backyard, you know, and you're you're just tightening down heads or you're you're working on, on lug lug nuts and whatnot. And and it's you know the the German measurement you know uh, good and tight is often good enough. But you know having something like this will get you that little extra peace of mind. Uh, there are you know people are you know we're not building race cars. There there is some flexibility in that torque range that they give you. Now there are other options out there as well. Say you, you know, now I said time and tech is catching up. Look at this. For the same price as that icon, you can now get the gear wrench half inch drive electronic torque wrench. This is going to give you all sorts of controls. It's going to give you all sorts of measurements, things you can't do with just a click style torque wrench. And don't get me wrong. I have, I have that icon torque wrench. All right. I, it, it's a, it's a great torque wrench and I love the cathartic, you know, click when you're really leaning into it, you get that click and you know, you got the job done and done right. And it's maybe it's not as satisfying as the little beep and stuff you get from the electronic ones, but the electronic ones can do all sorts of stuff that the manual ones can't. They can tell you torque range. They can tell you, they can, they can follow the peak. They, they can, uh, you can set it specifically nice and easy, dial it right in, know you're getting exactly there. And honestly, they're more accurate. And then these came out and these are your torque adapters. I've got one right here. If you've been around the ch channel for a while, you've seen that I've got several of these. This is the one we keep with us in the RV. I've showed it to you before. We actually just did a video with a breaker bar on it. It looks like that. Let me give you a better close-up of this. So this is, that is the family of digital torque adapters. Now let's talk about them. The way they work is, and let me pull one of this thing back out again. The way they work is there's essentially a cylinder in here of metal, like a, like a, a piece of, uh, almost like a, a little bit more than a foil kind of thing. And as you torque this down, the distance between that and the other piece of metal gets smaller and smaller. So it's like a coil kind of thing actually it comes in like that. And th that's the thing is it me measures the electronic induction between the two pieces to tell how far apart they are, thus measuring it. And you know what? It's extremely accurate. So accurate that it's embarrassing for click style torque wrenches. Don't take my word on it. There's all sorts of people all over the internet who have tested these. Tons of people on, on YouTube have tested them. But you know what? I'm going to direct you over to a buddy of ours. Uh, he's no, I don't think he's posting anymore on YouTube, but Chris from Client Graphics, back in the day, he went and he took some of his digital torque adapters to a local certified torque calibrating facility. And, and something as inexpensive as one of these comes in at at or less than 1% of accuracy. 
Uh, you'll see people testing with stuff like, you know, in their tool truck or in, in their home shop or their garage shop. That's great. This is an actual certified lab and they're testing these at 1% or less. And I've heard from multiple people who've had them tested and they're all coming in at that point. It has to do with the physics involved. There's just, there's no room for that kind of error. It just works. And I'm sorry if you're attached to your click style torque wrench. I, I haven't thrown mine away. I, but I also haven't used it much to be honest, because this just works. Again, if you're in a tool shop or a tire shop and you're, you're changing tires all day, you just want to go around and go click, 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 click and be done. You probably have four or five torque wrenches set at different specs because you don't even want to adjust them. You're a different case. But for, for the average viewer out there, the guy sitting looking at his home shop, hobby shop, just casual kind of stuff, even prosumer grade, maybe you're a traveling tech. You know, you don't want to carry a bunch of stuff. Well, guess what? I've got one, two, three torque wrenches in one box here. How much room is that going to take up in your shop? How much room is that going to take up in your toolbox or your tool bag? Can you, this is way smaller than three torque wrenches. And let's, let's get into it, okay? Now we're going to set Harbor Freight as the baseline. Why? There's 1,300 Harbor Freights. They're everywhere. You all know about them. I, all know, I know about them. You can get them. And they're cheap. They're inexpensive. And they just work, okay? Now this is the Gen 1, okay? So they've changed things. Now you can see there, if you look at it, let me come in close here on one of these. This is the half inch one, half inch drive. 25 to 250, nice wide range. As you can see, the, the screen on this is clearly, if I get it on there, clearly different. The new ones have a much bigger screen. They have a better button layout. And what you can't see is on the new ones, there's actually a line of LEDs that go up here to show you how, how close you're getting. This one has one LED. When you get 20% of the way, it'll start beeping. And when you hit it, it'll hard line, okay? So the, if I remember correctly how that works. So you're looking here, half inch drive torque adapter, 25 to 250 pound, nice wide range. Now the difference though is on these, you're just getting one. This is a half inch, you're not getting the triple set, but you're getting the differential in range. You're looking at $50 for that one. If you want the three eighths, now look at this, this is for light duty work. And you gotta really take that into consideration because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be torqued specifically, but it doesn't need to be torqued that much. So this 3 8 one does 5.9 5 to 59 foot-pounds. That's way lighter duty kind of case. Sorry about that. My iPhone's trying to get my attention. Uh, and then we got the, the 3 quarter inch. So if you're really jumping up there, look at this. 150 to 750 foot-pounds of torque. That's a lot. But again, you're going to have to buy all three. Now, I've got some alternatives for you. Now, to be fair, I, I'm friends with Harbor Freight. You know, I don't work for Harbor Freight. A lot of people who don't like what I have to say like to spread stupid rumors and stuff. I don't work for any tool company. Why? Because I work for myself because I'm not an idiot. Uh, and I, and I, I, I know you guys are going to take offense at that. I'm telling you what, if you can work for yourself, you're the worst boss and the best boss at the same time. But anyway, the point is this that uh, Harbor Freight sent me stuff in the past. I don't get paid by them. In fact, I don't even make affiliate uh, money off of you clicking on the links. Now, Amazon, Walmart, some of that stuff, we will, we make a few pennies here and there off of each thing. It's ridiculous how small, but you know, hundreds of thousands of people, it adds up. So now one of the other ones, again, another friend of the channel is Nico. Now, Nico has three different ones. Again, they're not doing the, this kind of package. I am gonna give you an alternative like this, okay? So Nico, uh, they've got, uh, and I do have the Nico, uh, I have the, I think it's the three eights because at the time when I bought it, Harbor Freight didn't have one. You look at this, you're looking at, oh, that's the, sorry, not the three, it's the three quarter. Uh, you're looking at 150 to 750 foot pound. It's $85. Now, what was the difference? That was, I think it was, uh, how much was it over at Harbor Freight? It was $65, $65. So good bit more. Is it a good bit better? I don't think so. Honestly, when I bought this, I bought it because, well, that that's what was out there at the time. Now, uh, I'm going to put links to everything so you could choose whatever you want or you can just go and search for your own or whatever. I don't care, really. Uh, so you got three choices. You got the half inch, you got the three three quarter and you got the three eighths, you know, the, <laughs> the Goldilocks zone kind of stuff in there. So now there's also another brand in here called AC Delco. Okay, now AC Delco, you've probably heard of them. They've been around for a while, yada, yada, yada. Uh, they, again, have the same thing. Half inch, 
uh, was it 1.4 to one point? Was it 14.8 to 147.6? Odd. Okay. Then they have a two half inch 225 to 250, and then they got a three eighths here coming in at 5.9 to 59. You're looking at 60, 70, 80 dollars on the different ones there, which is interesting that we're not seeing a 750. Now you also may see these online under DuroFix. We've talked about DuroFix. Uh, DuroFix is the parent company that actually owns the license to the AC Delco brand when used for tools. If I think I have that right. Um, and in fact, here's the DuroFix right here. 25 to 250, you're looking at 80, uh, 80 bucks on that. Uh, that's the same thing, I think, yeah. Seven, oh, max 720 degree, I don't know. Looks like this, I don't know. Anyway, and then the 3 8 which is 5.9 to 59. Now, if you want something more like this triple adapter kind of thing, and I don't blame you for wanting to go that route, and it's gonna save you a few pennies. Uh, it's more than a few pennies. It's the EP Auto here. Uh, I actually kind of like the setup on this. It's got an interesting box. Look at the size of the screen on that. All right, you got your controls there on the side. It doesn't give you all the, 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 the LED readouts like you're gonna get, but it's backlit, and I believe the other ones are backlit as well. Uh, this one is not backlit, but the new version from Harbor Freight is backlit, which is tempting, but I really like having my three-in-one solution here. Uh, and that's kind of why I'm recommending this one also. I'm, I'm, here's the honest truth. I don't think any of these are bad. I think they will probably all get the job done for you just fine. Just because the technology is so, it's so uh, mature, I think is the, the word that they would use there. Because it, it's been around, they figured it out, it works. They stumbled in, into something that just works easy and true. You don't have to recalibrate these things all the time like you do with a hand. Well, not all of them. Like once a year, once every two years, you have to recalibrate a, a click style torque wrench, you don't need to. There is a way to do it if for some reason something happened, but you know, they come in these nice crash proof cases. I know I've dropped this one. As you can see, this this has gotten around a bit. This is not all bright, new and shiny. It's it's uh, it's traveled and it still works just fine. But you're looking at 40 bucks on this one. You're getting all three adapters in there. Nice, easy to use, easy to read, which is nice at my age with my eyeballs. To be honest, to use this, I have to get out my, uh, my magic eyeballs and and go that route if i really want to see what's going on there it's sad but true uh and uh we got one more solution here for you and this is the ewk now there's not quite as big as display on this but it comes with a really cool little box it looks like it's metal it's got a nice little latch on it hey what can i say i i geek out on stuff like that a lot more controls a lot more information now all of these as far as i understand will do newt meters They'll do kilogram meters and they'll do foot pounds uh, slash foot inches. So uh, you'll have all those different options. This one has a slightly nicer box here. And you're looking at a half inch, 12.5 to 250. Great. Um, now, this is one of the downsides, as you can see here. These are a little bit bulky. All right. So if you're in a situation where you just don't have the room, this might not work for you. And I totally get it. There's, it's not, there's not one solution that fits every single problem there just isn't um anyway look at this one you're like 79 dollars now if you're wondering hey that uh you know i've seen chris over on uh on uh, client graphics he's got that really big one it's called a smart socket and this thing goes up to yeah twelve thousand foot pounds this thing is ridiculous if you've seen it before now if you're wondering how expensive something like this is it's in the we don't put the price on the website kind of expensive you can call them, ask for a quote. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but I remember it being prohibitively expensive. I'm thinking several, if not, uh, not like two to three grand, maybe even up to seven, depending on, there's several different models, depending on which one you wanted. Uh, and uh, it, they're, they are not cheap. So that's probably not something you or I or most people are going to use. But that said, let me know, you know, are, are you just like, screw it, I'm going to stick with the, the click sale torque wrenches? If so, are you looking more towards the prosumer grade? Are you looking for something like from Tekton? You know, I love Tekton. They've got that uh, warranty of, uh, it's not just lifetime. They say it's, it's always guaranteed. They don't care if you're the first owner or anybody else. Uh, if you take a picture of it, you upload it to the website, 
they verify it in two, three days, you got a replacement. Now, I, I think that's the case. Let's go here and, and double check here, uh, warranty on, because on torque wrenches, a lot of companies step away from that lifetime warranty, okay? Because they know it's a little more, uh, it's a little more finicky, a little more touchy there, and they may not uh, warranty it quite the same. But with Tecton, let me see here now, there's a, they don't say anything about it there. So my guess is it still has the always guaranteed warranty. Uh, Snap-on here, let's see what Snap-on's warranty is. Snap-on's warranty, one year from date of purchase, repair or calibrate at Snap-on Repair Center. Think, look at that, $635. You get a one-year warranty. Uh, Harbor Freight's going to give you on this, is it the 90-day? No, it's not the 90-day. I'm pretty sure it's the one-year. Uh, life or not, not one year, lifetime, lifetime warranty. We guarantee this tool will be free for lifetime use because that's it's Harbor Freight. It's the way they roll. Uh, as far as gear wrench and stuff like that, I think it's a year or two years on the gear wrench. I don't know for sure. And on the uh, Pittsburgh, the uh, Pittsburgh is lifetime as well. I'm pretty sure lifetime warranty. Now, what about the digital ones? Well, I'm pretty sure you're going to go 90 days on these. And we come down here and 90 days. Okay, but here's what I'm going to say about this. They're extremely well built. They come with a great shockproof case, and it really is. This thing is, I know it's just a blow molded case, but it fits great. It's got a nice little piece of foam in here. You could add some more if you're really worried about it. I have dropped this, not super high, like off the back of my pickup truck on the concrete stuff like that. In fact, I just did the other day, and I didn't worry about it the least bit because it it's lived so far and done done well so anyway that's all really i got to say about it. i don't want to beat a dead horse on it but the point of the matter is this that digital style torque wrenches are inexpensive especially these ones that have the three adapters here you're getting all three in one if you're traveling if you're on a budget if you just have limited you know uh, toolbox space stuff like that because you know my icon torque wrench is great but each one of the icon ones comes in its own giant box. It's, you know, super long blow mold like this. That's a lot of room in my storage, uh, in, in my toolbox and stuff. I got other things I could put in there. And this just makes life easier, makes life simpler. So the question is, why would I, let me come over here. Why would I go with a click style rather than with something like that? I'm not a pro. I'm not doing this every day. I'm not changing tires all the time. We just did all the uh, lug nuts on the uh, on the truck, eight lug nuts times four tires. What is that? Seven hundred sixty-five. No, it's thirty-two. Uh, anyway, that's a you know that's a fair amount, but it's not an everyday kind of thing. We just did it with this and got it done. No questions asked. Actually, the little bear did most of it. So, you know, if he could do that and do it with this and and make it nice and easy. Why would you not do the same thing? Why would you spend that kind of money? Let me know your argument. Prove, prove me wrong. Fight me down in the comments. I want to hear what you got to say. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.